Yeah, wonderful. This is just fine. Another wild goose chase. Another black firefight. Stop your girl crying, Kurt, or I'll shoot you myself. We're all surprised the others are here. So do we argue or do we make them regret their meddling? Axel, police! Good, let them and those damned Yakuza kill one another. But then he like these other fools will be killed as well. Kurt, but I ain't say seek! Enough, damn it! It's not here! We've looked! They've looked! Come now! Or we leave you! I'd wreck kill the informant! There was nothing in the theater! What? Ja, I understand. Ja, seek I. They know where it is. Someone used it. Someone in the States. Oh, truly? But didn't they just say Japan before that Peru, Thailand? They're certain this time, Kirk. It was on CNN. The others will surely know, so we must move immediately. The arrangements are already underway. Our destination is Sky City. That's where the mask is. As will be our destiny. Emily Tuttle, you're daydreaming again. Oh, look, class. Our Miss Tuttle seems more interested in this criminal than the father of our country. Emily loves the big head. <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you, my dear. In this classroom, we deal with those who have contributed to our society, not those who would tear it down. All right, that's all for today. Now, don't forget, our Halloween party's tomorrow. We're going to the parade afterward. So bring a warm coat, and remember what Principal Davis said, no violent costumes. As for you, Emily, I think I'd better speak to your father about this fascination with... Big head, big head. Emily loves the big head. So what do you say, huh? <laughs> Ask the dummy what you got to say. Good one, Mike. Man, that dummy creeps me out. Why can't she be in a retard class or something? <clears throat> you kids got hall passes? What's it do you? You ain't no hall monitor. You got me there, pal. I'm no hall monitor. I'm the hell monitor! So show me your fucking passes or I'll eat your fucking brains! Uh ah! Glad I decided to keep an eye on Emmy today. Those stinkers have picked on her for months. <laughs> this whole town better think twice before messing with a tuttle. Maybe I should pay those kids' parents a visit while I'm at it. With a blowtorch. Whoa! Is that the time? Let's zoom out of here! Big night tonight! Stuffing your potatoes! Gangway, creepy peasants! Can't you see I'm zooming here? You know what tonight is? Of course you don't, you silly dummy! Tonight is extra secret, ultra keen, hyper nifty revenge night! But first, gotta make dinner for my kid! What's this? Is everyone going to my place for eats? Up yours! <gasps> hey, you jab turkeys! Can't you see I'm driving here? Move it! Too much traffic! It's my way or the highway! Atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed! Come, Mr. Monster Truck, smash up all the traffic! Demon, come and me wanna go home! Good suckers! Next time, take the train! What? On the freeway? Anyone killed? Thank God. Abe, call Stan. Tell him no press until I get to the scene. Got it? Jesus, what a mess. Look, Commissioner Hurts, you promised me five minutes. I didn't agree to five minutes of having some out-of-town cop tell me how to run my department. Sir, with all due respect, I'm telling you that you don't know what you're up against here. Hear that, boys? The lieutenant wants to help. I've got a psycho terrorist wrecking my town, a panicked public, and the FBI on my back. You, big shot, I don't need. Look, all I'm asking is to share some information here. I don't need information. I know all about you, Killaway. You botched nailing this big head several times over. So now it's personal, right? You watch too much TV, mister. It doesn't work that way. This isn't your town, Kellaway. It's not your case. Go home, Lieutenant. Go home! Even worse than that pig head commissioner and the damn reporters. They're all over me, asking me if I feel responsible in any way. Jerks. If only these morons knew how hard it is to nail anyone who has that damned mask. Well, I'll do what I can from here. Besides keeping the captain from suspending your butt. I appreciate it, Lionel. I'm getting nowhere with Sky City PD. No one's talking. I'm getting a weird vibe from this town. Not to mention this new big head. Something's up with this guy. He's got an agenda. A specific beef with this town. Doesn't like rich people. Who does? I know, I know. But after he blows up insurance buildings, he helps mugging victims. We gotta look into this guy's pattern and try to ID him before it's too late. And more people get hurt because of that lousy mask. See, Emily? I made a special dinner for us tonight. Everything's gonna be alright from now on, sweetie. You'll see. I know I got angry last night, and I broke a few things, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Ray. 
Madeline was very special to everyone at the office. That poor child, losing her mother like this. Most children that suffer from trauma-induced muteness regain their ability to speak. Using play therapy often helps. But I'm sorry to say, your being uninsured means the financial burden would be directly on you. I'm sorry, Mr. Tuttle, but your loan application has been turned down. My hands are tied. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry, but some of Emily's classmates seem to be having trouble, uh, adjusting to her. Perhaps she may be better off in our classes for special students. It's not the money, you understand. It's Hathaway. He's too connected. He's got friends in high places. I'd like to take your case, but I can't. Sorry. Sorry, Emmy. I asked Hathaway about any security concerns for tonight's opening. Other than running out of champagne, I don't foresee any trouble. And we have a capable security staff, so really I'm not concerned. Besides, Commissioner Hearns is a friend. And I have great faith in his department's ability to restore order to our city. Uh, hey, um, I forgot. About tomorrow? You want me to make you a costume for your party? You do? Emily, that's terrific! What, sweetie? What are you pointing at? You, you want to go with Big Head? Oh, Emmy, I don't know about this. I find it outrageous that someone would sell an item like this. What is this world coming to? Big Head's not very popular around here, honey. He blows up things. Well, well who, who knows? knows? Maybe, Maybe after, after tonight, tonight, a lot, a lot more, more people will be Big, Big Head fans. fans. After, after he breaks, breaks the, the bank, bank at the, the Sky, Sky City, City Casino. Casino. Thank you! Thank you! And I want to thank you all for coming tonight! As well, I welcome you to the grand opening of Sky City's first and finest international hotel casino! I hope you're all enjoying the festivities, the food, the drinks, the legal gambling. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm sorry the five million slot isn't up for grabs, my friends. But that's for reeling in the little fish. You know, the ones we aren't letting in tonight. Excuse me, sir. I'll need to see your invitation, please. So please, eat, drink, and gamble to your heart's content. I don't understand. I had it here just a moment ago. Check your back pocket. You be quiet. Aha! Uh -huh. Found it! A toast to you, my esteemed guests. Enjoy yourself, and remember, tonight, the sky's the limit! Welcome to Sherwood, half old bean! Like my dramatic entrance? Down, Fluffy, down! Sit! Okay, do whatever you want, bad dog. What the hell is this? How did he get in here? How else? I use violence. Security! This is an outrage! No! Your dishonor, the sickening display of greed, extravagance, and waste put on by Sky City's so-called elite is an outrage. Not to mention this decor. Yuck! But seriously, folks, this wealth, this opulence, frankly, it makes me green with envy. Green, get it? That's a joke. Where was I? Oh, yes! Robbing the rich, etc., etc. I say down with the bloated rich! The overprivileged, the fat cats! Heavily armed? Nelson, let my people handle this! I don't see your people here, George. All I see is public enemy number one trashing my casino. What are you waiting for? Shoot him! Wait! Wait! Missed me! Missed me! Now you got to kiss me! How in hell? He's got a bulletproof vest! Bulletproof vest? I got a bulletproof brain, you idiot! It's kinda crazy, too! To wit, one order of ultraviolets coming up! Attention all units! Big Head Suspect reported at Sky City Casino! Well, this is it. Showtime. I knew the shindig would be too much for a boy to pass up. By the looks of that mob block in the entrance, he must be going to town in there. Thrust! Parry! Groin kick! Nipple twist! <coughs> Tear off ear! Slap with Hot Wheel track! Look at me! I'm running amok! Big Bennies! Boxcars! Clubhouse! You, sir! You look like a gambling man. Am I gonna slap you with a sack of potatoes or a bag of baseballs? Uh... Uh... Oh. I tire of these silly games of chance. Let's play something fun. Like Operation! The Wacky Doctor Game! <laughs> Take out wrenched ankle. What a night! This is more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Wait, I know something even more fun. A barrel of drunken monkeys with power tools. Go! Fight like drunks! Throw your crap! Wreak havoc! Don't hear any more gunfire. It could be good or bad. Where the hell are the police? Not that they'd be able to do much. Jackpot! 
Oh, win your teeth. Uh, what do we have here? At last, ye Hathaway, I've spotted ya. You scurvy swabby, your luck's run dry, me hearty. Your past is catching up to you, Nelson, and your past is pissed! No! No! Ah! Please! Anything! Anything you want! Too late, Hathaway! You're gonna pay for what you've done! But why? What did I ever do to you? This way, pal! Wait, where are you taking me? Well, let's just say you're traveling to another dimension, eh? You unlock this door with the key of imagination. You're in a dimension of sight. Ah! A dimension of sound! A dimension of crawfish, maggots, cookbooks, right crosses, jabs, uppercuts. That's the signpost up beside your head, Hathaway. You've just entered the toilet zone. How's it feel, Mr. Seashore Amusements? Mr. Big Shot? How's it feel to have your life flushed down the toilet like you flushed mine? Let him go! Hold it right there! Ah, uh, relax. I was just funning with the guy. It's not like I was gonna kill the SOB. Wait! Stop! Go ahead, Kojak. You just try and take me in. Shoot me! It won't do you any good. I know that. I know all about that mask. Listen to me. I know what you're going through. This path you're on, it's a dead end. You can't control the mask, it's too strong. It'll destroy your life! You don't know anything! It's saving our lives! Saving lives? With a chainsaw? You think that's funny? That mask does. I know. I've worn it. I thought I could use it too. But all it got me was a ton of trouble and three slugs at my back. No matter what troubles you're going through, no matter what you're trying to do, that mask isn't the answer. Look around you. Look at this place. See what it does? It's just no damned good, but we can make it disappear. All you have to do is take it off. Hold it right there! Lousy screw, try to sucker me! No, wait! <laughs> Sorry boys, hate to beat and run, but I have things to do tonight. Give my love to Nelson, the lovely place he had here. Callaway, what are you doing here? What the hell did you say to him? See what it does? Emily! Ugh. Oh, man. Huh? What's this? It is confirmed. Dear Father, I couldn't wake you, so I took some art supplies to make myself a costume you shouldn't have promised. Emily. Great. I really blew it big time. Hey, what's with this paint on my hands? Holy Moses, more masks! I must have made these last night, but- The Big Head Killer has killed again! Killed? Developer Nelson Hathaway died of a heart attack after suffering a vicious beating during last night's $5 million casino heist. Afterward, hundreds were injured when riots broke out, after the money was dispersed in the streets of Sky City. Oh god, everything's gone wrong. I killed somebody. I think I could have been sick. Cop was right. The mask is no good. We've gotta get rid of it. This has to end now. Are you visiting Sky City for purposes of business or pleasure? Oh, pleasure, of course. Strictly for pleasure. <laughs>